Welcome back awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. I've picked up a, though you can't see it on here, it's a World Power Team, I think. One of their sci-fi sets. This is the Mizram Standard Soup. I'm missing the card back. So presumably it was opened earlier, but it's still complete with the stuff inside. Uh, got is quite cheap, and I've seen a lot more on Tarot. And if I like this, I'll pick some more. I've also got some of the other factions I'll be reviewing a bit later as well. Uh, 118 scale, I love the look of the gun, the figure looks pretty cool, it says something in Chinese, maybe some of my Chinese viewers can read that, and it says standard suit, is 118 scale, authentic, highly detailed equipment and accessories, new super articulated figure body, I'm not sure I can be authentic with a science fiction, but never mind, okay let's have a quick open and see, that was very easy, he is still got some of his uh, wire ties on the back so he has not been taken out previously it would appear maybe the owner didn't like it and decided to sell it on which was a plus for me so since i've got it cheap and you can get them uh really quite cheap on e ebay on a tab out here in china loose ones so if it's any good or i think it's got potential for customs even for parts i will pick up some more Got this awesome looking sort of hand held minigun as well here. So let's see what this is all about. Okay, that's one tie out. That's the second one out. Oh, and his guns come out. Hard plastic on the gun. Let's get his other gun out first. That looks nice. And let's pop out the figure. Okay. Let's look at his small gun first. Very sci-fi. That is nice. There's no drilled barrel. There's no paint apps. But it's got a very nice sci-fi look. And it's huge. Which is quite nice for your bigger figures. Then his other gun is like this handheld mini cannon, you know. Or mini gun. That will last about a second shooting out. That's such a small ammo pack there. But again, no drilled barrels. But you could do that with a fine handle, not too difficult. That does look really nice. A bit of paintwork on that, that looks really, really quite cool. I do like that. Then the figure, uh, let's have a look first. Yeah, he is menacing. He's really good for sci-fi, very, very good. I do like that a lot. Very simple, just black and some dark red and there's nice there's sort of plastic wires here you can see coming off his chest, stands up very easily, got these huge big feet, uh, it's thinking about an angle at the moment, but maybe this is something to do with his legs, not straight, I don't know, let's have a look, still leaning over slightly, uh, this is a nice looking figure, let's look at his articulation, so he can look left and right, he can look up and down, very tiny, but there's is that a wobble side to side? Not really. Shoulders is not going to be great because this sculpt. So you can't even, he gets that far. That's terrible, but you could adjust that by cutting off the plastic. Um, arm bend. Yeah, he gets about 90 degrees. That's pretty cool. So these little clicks on these arms. I like that sort of ratchets. Waist, his waist does turn. Was not expecting that and it goes forwards backwards so he's got a waist stroke torso hips not particularly far but I wasn't expecting anything there forwards and backwards very good uh, single knee knee joint but he gets 90 degrees and on his foot yeah his feet rather he can go tiptoeing he can go uh, sort of Michael Jackson dancing going the other way and his feet turn but there is no side to side wall pretty damn good uh, let's say he holds his weapons he was holding this one in the box I uh, look at his hands first sorry his hands are swivel but there's no arti other articulation his hands are quite large this is the one he was holding in his packet let's see so he's made to hold this gun or his hands designed for this gun he holds it pretty cool not bad, he holds that quite well. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to be like for dynamic posing. Let's give it a little shot and see. 
Actually, it's not too bad because his feet are so large. He can balance quite easily, which means you can get him to some poses which might be difficult for other figures because his feet will balance. Even if he can't get his foot flat, he's still going to balance. Um, the hands are a hard plastic, so there's no give. In fact, they will break. The fingers will snap if you try and give it, which is a something I don't like. Okay, his mm -hmm. other gun. Let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so like this gun now is far more difficult for him to hold. He might have to balance that somehow. Okay, can't hold it in that hand. And this hand, there's a tiny bit of give in the fingers. Not big enough to get that gun into his hand. It's going to snap. Oh no, just about. Okay, so he can hold the other one in his other hand, but can he hold it straight? Yeah. So you could have him tooled up for extreme extermination of whoever the foe is. Now he must be a bad guy, looking at ugly is, but you never know. Maybe I'm just stereotyping there. But he is a pretty cool looking figure. Okay, so let's compare him to some other 118 scale figures and to get terms of size. I'll compare him to some tall ones and to some shorter ones we get a better idea. Let me get him nice and straight first of all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he is straight now. Uh, let me choose a shorter 118 scale. Let me use a Terminator figure. And yeah, he's much bigger than the Terminator. Let me choose another short one. Let's choose Robocop. I'm not sure if I actually published a review of Robocop. That'll be coming soon anyway. Um, no, I published a couple of Robocop already. He is taller than Robocop. Let's look at a Fortnite figure. This one is, is it Carbide, I think? Uh, now about the same height. That is a big one. This is one of the drones from Iron Man 2. No idea which drone this is. I haven't even made a video for this one yet. The drone towers above. If I use uh, Star Wars Black Series Chewbacca, he's a big figure. He towers above. If I use, just use uh, Marvel Universe Apocalypse, who again is a huge figure and towers above. But he scales very well. In fact, just to get another sci-fi look, this is an Acid Rain Prospector. He's bigger, but the head looks very small on him. And let's use an Epoch Capsule Droid. And he's bigger than that. Pretty good. He scales well. Articulation is decent, but for the shoulders, I would probably be cutting that top part off across there and maybe just smoothing over with some modeling putty or something because... Yeah, that's not great. I mean, look, it looks nice in theory, but it's just not great articulation. He can't get his arms very wide open either because the same thing again. Um, in fact, you have to cut cut a lot more on that off. You have to fell all around the edges as well to improve that articulation. But he's a not bad looking figure. And to be fair, that gun looks pretty cool. It's a bit big, and this gun looks awesome if you draw the barrels. Uh, how would other figures hold? Look at Carbide again. Because these handles are really thick. It's going to really stretch Carbide's fingers. Maybe too much to hold that. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. You need to get something with bigger open hands. I'm looking, looking, looking. Do I have anything nearby? Uh, Chewbacca may... No. No, his hands are too stiff on Chewbacca. What about... Let's have a look. Apocalypse has an open hand, but maybe it's too open to hold something like this. Look a bit small in Apocalypse's hands anyway. His fingers get in the way, but Apocalypse can almost hold that. Funny enough, one of my other Styles figures which I haven't made a video of yet. Uh, she looks like she could maybe hold it, since her hand is very wide open. Let's have a quick look. Almost. Her hand is too wide open which is kind of ironic uh, but she could hold that almost and she looked pretty cool with that decent figure happy to purchase i think i'll be picking up a few more for my sort of sci-fi universe bit of paint at work on that would be really good and this is really good for customs having a quick look at the uh 
joint system. I'll be tempted to get a few of these and I'm going to crack one open using hot water and screwdrivers and whatnot because the joint's actually quite nice. They've got little click sounds you can hear there on little ratchets. And they, even though it's quite old and loose, it does hold its position well still. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys. I am signing out saying please like, share and subscribe. I'll be back to the more awesome action videos for you. Stay happy, keep collecting, and please click on the notifications icon, the one like a bell somewhere around here, to stay up to date with the latest content, videos, reviews, etc. Okay, bye bye.